As we recently learned in the Immigration Matters module, all international students are required to enroll full-time every semester to maintain their F1 status. However, here at Peralta, we understand that college is hard and life happens, which is why we can offer a reduced course load under certain and limited circumstances. What is a reduced course load? Well, a reduced course load is an F1 status benefit that allows students to take fewer than 12 units while still maintaining the F1 status requirements. There are three types of reduced course load requests, academic, medical, and final semester. The academic RCL can only be requested one time and can only be used during your first semester. If you need time to adjust to the English language, classroom reading requirements, our American teaching methods, or have been placed in an improper course level by a counselor, this is the option for you. All students are required to start the semester enrolled full time. But after the first week of classes, first semester students can request to take between 6 and 11 units if needed. But before dropping classes, you must receive prior approval by requesting an RCL through your ISP account. After receiving approval, you can drop the approved class. So, if you need help adjusting to life in the United States and would like to take a reduced course load during your initial semester, apply through your ISP account after the first week of classes. Here's how. First, Meet with an academic counselor to update your student education plan. Next, log into your ISP account, then click Student Requests and Documents. Next, select Reduce Course Load Requests and click the correct term for the current semester. You will then be required to answer a couple questions before completing the request. An advisor will contact you with confirmation if your RCL was approved. Please do not drop below 12 units until an advisor has provided approval. Once approved, you may proceed by dropping your classes to complete the RCL process. Besides the academic RCL, students may also request an RCL for medical reasons. Yes, if you have a medical condition, illness, or injury that prevents you from enrolling full-time, you may qualify for a medical RCL. We understand that all students reported being healthy enough to attend the Peralta Colleges through the application process. But again, life happens. If you become injured or ill while studying in the United States, you can request a medical reduced course load. To receive approval for a medical RCL, you must apply through ISP and provide a medical note from a licensed physician or a clinician providing a specific recommendation regarding the number of classes you are able to take in a semester. If you complete the medical RCL and provide a signed medical letter from a licensed medical doctor, clinical psychologist, or doctor of osteopathy, we can approve between 0 and 11 units in that semester. This option can only be used twice, and each semester requires its own medical letter. To quickly recap, the academic RCL can be used once during your first semester, and the medical RCL can be used twice during any semester. This brings us to our last RCL option, and how appropriate this is the final semester RCL. If you will complete a certificate, degree, or all transfer requirements by the end of the current semester, you may request a final semester RCL. The final semester RCL requires evidence from an academic counselor in the form of a student education plan, graduation, degree, certificate petition, or an acceptance letter from your transfer university. When asked for supporting documentation on ISP, upload one of these and we will review your requests. Once approved, you can take between 1 to 11 units as long as at least one class is required to complete your academic program. There you have it! 
three options to take less than full-time enrollment. Again, make sure to apply for an RCL before dropping classes so we can keep you in status and work towards your academic goals. Be safe, stay well, and congrats on completing another orientation module.